Hey guys, it's been uh, almost 32 hours since my last cup of coffee. It was just a little cup. And uh, about an hour ago, about 3 o'clock, I started to feel one of those, like you're not drinking enough water or you got a sunburn headache, but I don't have any sunburn. See my nose and there's no sunburn. Um, and I'm not low on water. And so I'm feeling kind of like, I'm not, I'm not, not alert. I'm very alert, quite powerful. I have energy. Um, I, I, I feel groggy. I feel like, like lethargic, but not like I couldn't go out and sprint kind of way. It's just my head's full. And um, I try to lay down and then I'm like, because I can't sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep during the day. Um, I lost that ability about uh, two years ago when I stopped being uh, cardiometabolically, horrifically, sickly. Blah. So I don't take my afternoon naps anymore. Never. Just up, but uh, feeling kind of cranky. And I thought to myself, well, this is interesting. <clears throat> I eat eggs, fatty meat some cheese, water, salt. And if I went without those things for three days, nothing would happen. Matter of fact, I feel even better when I fast. Uh, about day one, norepinephrine kicks in and uh, the cortisol is kind of chilling out because I don't need so much of it. I do need to go like hunt my next prey. So for like three days, I'm feeling euphoric, feeling wow, wonderful. And uh, so I'm thinking to myself, well, why then, if coffee is so beneficial and so good for you, Perry, you'll appreciate this, why then would I have withdrawal symptoms from caffeine if plant materials were perfectly okay, wonderful, all right. Granted, coffee, the coffee seed has caffeine to protect it from insects. Yes, it will kill an insect dead. It will kill your dog dead. You cannot give dog uh, dogs chocolate, caffeine, anything from the the plants, the the caffeinated plants. Your your dog will just belly up, four legs straight up in the air. That's the end of that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, six semper all plant material, guys. Lettuce. Did you ever notice lettuce might taste a little sweet, but then it's got like this bitter flavor? Check it. Check romaine, check iceberg, uh, kale, although I don't eat kale. Um, radishes are pungent. Chilies have a spice. Obviously, they don't want you eating them. <laughs> um, cilantro, it's got an interesting aromatic, but it, it's got a bitter flavor. Onions are piercing. Garlic, full force. Uh, will 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 sting your tongue. Horseradish, mustard, tomatoes. Believe it or not, tomatoes have a slightly. I mean, maybe not the fruit itself, but the vine. Go ahead and pinch the vine. And you're gonna be like, what the hell is that? Rhubarb. The stalk is edible, but the leaves have arsenic, and I think those will do you in. Um, guys, plants don't want to be eaten, and and they can't just <laughs> uproot and run from their their predators so uh, predominantly insects although some insects have been able to tolerate um, the poisons for example the monarch butterfly will eat milkweed and the tiger swallowtail butterfly will eat the sour orange and uh, you just even touch one of those caterpillars and out come this these li this little thing here they don't wiggle but whoa, the smell. And I remember touching it with my fingernail and it had penetrated my fingernail and burned me. I'm like, well, that's gotta be pretty caustically nasty stuff. I didn't dare touch it. Uh, and when it was on my fingernail, I'm like, whoa, the, the smell was, yeah, um, let's not eat that one. Uh, so animals that have learned, especially insects to dominate. Well, I think they're more symbiotic. They say, hey, we're gonna make a deal with you, sour orange. Give us a little bit of your foliage. We'll go ahead and clear that away. 
and then we want to go ahead and concentrate your poisons to protect us from other predators like birds. Uh, why do you think the tiger swallowtail is so beautiful, yellow and black? Why do you think the monarch is so beautiful? Black, orange, and white dots. Yeah. Um, any really brightly colored insect that's not trying to fit in and not trying to hide. Monarchs and tiger swallowtails fly right in front of birds going, yeah? And what are you going to do? What are you going to do, huh? Go ahead and eat me. You'll be dead in an hour. And they know it. That's why you be beware of anything colored black, white, red, colors that stand out. They're, they're not telling you, hey, I'm over here, eat me. No, they're saying, uh, I'm wearing this so that you don't even look at me because a drop of me will kill you. Um, just think of those little beautifully colored toads in South America. Oh, yeah, the First Nations figured out how to wipe, you know, their, their little arrowheads or, or their little deals and they put them in this way and they go and they hit a bird the bird just goes wham but for some reason the toxin doesn't doesn't bother them when they eat the thing uh so yeah um yeah plants are probably pretty nasty and and tea tea leaves also have a lot of oxalates in them and uh i i never really got into tea but you know i did get into coffee but so i'm like uh i'm Let's see what day two does. So this is, this is uh, we're almost 1,700 hours here today. I'll be in bed in another four. Let's see how I sleep. I had one little leg twitch and a little like eyebrow twitch earlier, which means that these withdrawal symptoms are also doing something with my electrolyte balance. I think my body is uh, beginning to downregulate the receptors for adenosine triphosphate which the caffeine molecule looks very close to, uh, <clears throat> and tends to replace um, essentially the, the nerve cells. It's, it's a blocker. It doesn't actually make you hyper, and it doesn't make your heart increase, and it doesn't constrict your, your blood vessels. It blocks your body from essentially doing the opposite. So it's not an active toxin. It's a passive toxin. It blocks your body from dilating the blood vessels and that's why you get the headache all of a sudden you get more blood in your brain and it also keeps you from uh you know it keeps you from slowing your heart down and it seems to me it would keep you from getting into some para, uh, parasympathetic um, nervous system side you know the feed breed rest digest kind of thing um but we'll see and and again i'm gonna do this 30 days and then i'm gonna drink my coffee on the 31st and if I, in the least bit, feel like, like, oh, either bitter or wakala or no, 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 never again, then it's over. I, I got a couple of bags. Sadly, I just bought one or two. And, uh, <clears throat> but I'll give them to my daughter. She says she still drinks it. So, whatever. So, anyway, that's it. Um, so, we'll chat with you tomorrow morning and see how I feel. All right. We'll talk soon. Bye.